It may get a little windy out here, but I'm going to take you around and show you my final product on my solar heat panel. Okay, this is the uh, south side of my house, and as you can tell in the background, that's my passive solar heater. This is uh, made up by simply using 255 individual pop cans and beer cans. And as you can tell, I've uh, covered the entire outside frame with aluminum so that it's uh, not exposed to the elements and uh, sealed it up pretty good. It uh, mounted pretty well on the house. I used L brackets and I apologize in advance for not having any pictures of the actual installation of the panel but uh, as you can see it looks looks pretty good on the south side of the house and uh, it definitely gets full sun exposure. Well I promised you that I would give you some numbers so here's a, just a rough idea of the uh, number calculations that I came up with. October 16th the uh, outside temperature was 58 degrees. The entire interior of my home was 71. That would equal a 13 degree difference. Uh, then another reference on October 20th it was 64 degrees outside. The interior of my home was 72 so that's only an 8 degree difference. On the big day that I really noticed a lot was on the 28th of October the outside temperature was 51 degrees but the interior of my home was 68. That would be a 17 degree difference and this is all free heat. What I, uh, what I do know is that I measured the temperature uh, coming out of that with a, uh, a regular thermometer that I had on my keychain one day and uh, it was in excess of 120 degrees coming out of that hole so I think the temperature is going to be be supplying me plenty of heat and uh, I think the unit's going to really work really good for me so hey thanks for uh, tuning in to another simple thoughts video and uh, like I said before keep uh, thinking outside of the box and uh, let's keep sharing our simple thoughts together thanks guys